In this video, you're going to be watching me make this four Chinese character idiom called 万事如意, which means may all your desires come true. May actually your 10,000 desires all come true. It is basically something to have your wishes come true. So wearing it as a earring charm basically attracts everything that you want to you. So we're going to start with our custom made baby blue polymer clay. Uh, we mix this with white, uh, blue, and yellow, a bit of yellow to make the, that little turquoisey color. So here you see me prepping all these things with the molds, and you see me cutting out the little sample of the Van Shi Rui, which is this four character Chinese idiom, um, often placed uh, in like Chinese New Year symbols. Just so that whatever your wishes come true um, will come true, basically. So by wearing these like four characters on your ear, or or placing them like on your door, or wherever, um, it usually kind of like brings like good luck in that sense. So here you see me sticking it on the pair of earrings, and every time uh, you stick it on, sometimes you could get the little tweezer like thing nipped on it, and it could like create some little bit of dentures. So what I uh, like to do is to actually intentionally create these like textures alongside of it um, so that it makes it look more like in-depth. Um, it kind of gives it like a like a degree and level to it. Now you see me. You can see it a little bit more clearly now. I do this with every single one. It's quite time consuming but also super soothing at the same time. Um, just basically poking in holes like all throughout the thing. Sometimes you could make these kind of textures with one of those, um, what do you call it, like those print sort of uh, patches where you could just like lay it on the thing. But it makes it kind of hard because you want a flat surface for the Chinese characters. So here you see me going back in and kind of like touching up a little bit on the corners to make sure everything's like sealed. And so soon here, I'm going to be going to bake it, and you won't see it in the shot anymore. So yeah, here um, is basically a pair of earrings that I'm about to ship. Um, this was like a birthday gift that I gave to someone. Um, and yeah, they. I was basically like, go in my shop and see what you like, and they actually chose the one thing that I did not have in my shop and it was the one thing that I actually offered as a gift to someone else and I thankfully was had one more pair of earrings left um a fool which is the character for blessing and that's always like a good character to have around with you for everything so here you see me fiddling around with um, the fit of it. Um, I wear this several times actually before I send it off to the customer to make sure it lands on myself. And here you see me disinfecting it because hygiene is super important, yo. Um, this is probably one of my favorite part of <laughs> making the earrings or actually writing the letters to the person who is about to receive them. I always usually write a couple notes. This is... Usually what people say is like the highlight of them receiving um, the Yoga Avic Mon jewelry is like reading the notes and they always usually send me a picture of it, of both the earrings and the note that I send and it always makes me super happy. This is just one of those good times. Uh, when Yoga Avic Mon used to do workshops a lot, we custom designed this letterhead and this note paper um, so that we would actually write things uh, in the workshops for people. And here you see the final piece of it. Here you do a, meal, do a little yoga finger dance. I love it. I love it so much. I could dance around these products like forever. Check it out. <laughs> Check out the merchandise boxes. We love it. All right. Now the Van Shi Rui earrings are out hot. Uh, from the oven and here placing it with um, some UV resin coating on the top just to like seal it off to make it like super chic and like durable basically. If the polymer clay were to just be left on its own then it would um, it might get a little bit dirty if there was like dust or anything to it. So just to have another UV coating on top just make sure 
makes makes it that it's like super clean and you can actually like wash the uv resin because it's like waterproof and in case you wanted to go swim and dip in the ocean with it then you'd be fine and also um it's so much easier if you want to chuck the earring in your like bag or something like that to have like a uv coating on it um uv resin coating on it it makes it um give give it a feel of a more plasticky some people don't like that but it Definitely for me as a seller, um, I want to make my earrings more durable, so I usually like to do that. Sometimes I only just put on the top coating and not on the back, but for this one, I did it for both the front and the back, and I made sure that... Um... Actually, this is one thing that not a lot of people know with UV resin, is that you actually need to kind of like create it all in a dark place. Um, otherwise the UV resin will cure, um, the coating or it won't like let it move. So yeah, here you see me in covering it again, um, in the dark, um, and basically working with it. And there's probably like an easier way to do this other than toothpicks, but I find this like the most easy is to just like use a toothpick and like maneuver it around and it gives it the best feel. And the flame is always there to kind of pop the pop pop the bubbles that are in it if there are any usually with a toothpick you can kind of clear it out on its own but having an extra um, light bulb there for the fire is I think great so this was an extra pair of earrings that the customer did not ask for but it was kind of like they're going away party so I did want to just include it in there for them as a gift um, so here's me making sure it's dangle is on here you go. It's Xi Xiao Yan Kai. Um, it's like a four-letter character again to basically lighten up. Here again, you see me um, disinfecting the earrings, making sure it's like super clean, because um, I always try them on to make sure the dangle's always right and it falls on the ear right, um, so that whenever I'm sending it to the customer, that they'll have a little bit of dangle when they're doing it. So here's me boxing all of them. It's done. Yay! And there's the boxing, guys. Here you go. Get on the newsletter if you'd like to see more videos like this. I send out weekly updates of new earrings that I make every week. Yay!